Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another monthly plan with me. Today's monthly plan with me will be in my 2017 Recollection Coil Planner and I am so in love with this cover, it's ridiculous. So, let's go ahead and go into our monthly which is here, which will be January. And heads up, I will be doing the January notes page pretty soon. Yeah, because I have a couple ideas of what I want to do with this page here. So stay tuned for that. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to utilize some of these stickers, if I could find it. I'm not too sure, but I'm glad that I do have the option of using these if I wanted to. But mm, they're not in the color that I want, so maybe not. So let's go back to January. So this is my birth month. So I didn't get a special birthday month spread I didn't do that I'm actually waiting to do that with these pages here so hopefully what I ordered will come on time for this week so this is the kit that I got I am using a Sahili's design monthly kit and it actually corresponds with their New Year's spread that I use for both my planners. This is a sneak peek of what I use. So it does coincide with the colors and the design. So with that being said, since this is only but a two page kit, as you can see, I decided to see if I could utilize these here, which were the leftovers. So, I'm hoping that I can, and if I need to, I will grab from here. So, let's go ahead and get started. One thing that I see right off the bat that's going to be an issue are these circle dates. My dates on here in the recollection planner is actually a flag. So, what I wanted to do was, I don't know, I want to test out first. Let me just put a random one here. And of course, I always need the help of my tweezers. I just want to put one and see how much do I have to cover. Mm. It really isn't that much of a problem. Let me just zoom you in so you can see that. As you can see, there's the number, the circle, date, dot, and these are, they're so light because it is, um, it's not a watercolor, or is it? I think it's watercolor, but pastel-y watercolor, but they're on a flag. But I think this one covers it enough that I don't have to white it out. I was thinking of whiting out all of the numbers on here. And hopefully I can take this out without ruining the date dot. Okay, I got it. So, then I don't have to do that. Okay, that saves me a lot of work. Let me get you back out. Okay, so what I want to do first is actually put these up here. I know this is not going to fit completely and I'm sorry that I'm turning my planner but that is the only way that I could see this properly so hmm I think there is going to be some of this blue of course because it's in the coil section here I don't think that's going to bother me at all so let's go ahead and start this okay so I'm going to start with this one here that says January Hmm, right off the bat, it's going to be a lot of that top color. I think I might have to white out some of this top. 
So let's see how that will look. Let me just zoom you out. That's not too bad. That doesn't bother me, so. Ah, it's not bad. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here. Okay, so that's that side there. Doesn't look too, too bad. Okay, now we're going to, let me open it up so you can see where I'm at. Let's go ahead and do the full box. So this is how the full boxes came out. I do love how she has a lot of extras to use to block out the days that does not correspond with the month. And I also like the fact that she has this one here. And I had an extras to put here for this month. I want to keep track of my media sites. And I put this one here with the fireworks for my birthday. So the next thing that I want to do is just go ahead and do the tedious part of putting down the actual numbers. So yeah, bear with me. So these are all the numbers down and it looks really good. I could barely see the actual flag underneath it, but I noticed that this kit has an extra 30. Just in case, I guess, you mess up, but <laughs> it's there. So now all I have left in the sheet are just the actual icons. So let's go look at the second half of this sheet, well, of this kit, and here it is. I mean, I have some goals here, so I want to actually put this up here. Wow, that is beyond crooked. Seriously. Okay, let's just try this again.
Okay, so what I want to do is take from here and use these flags. Okay, so I have that down, and then I think I want to just continue it. Um, I think I'm going to put this month on the air. So, that is my sidebar. I think it's okay for me not having any sidebar the stuff. for doing my monthly spread for the first time in this planner and what I had left over from the kit are just these two here which is basically just one goal and one um, appointment or bill do um, label and a bunch of icons on this one so that went well there and as for this I didn't really use much, just mostly these two here, which are right there. And yeah, I think it turned out great. I really would probably buy another kit that has more for like the sidebar area and I guess more stickers for the week. Like this is um, Chinese New Year's here and this is Martha the King's Day. And I know my son doesn't have class there, so I have to put another one here. Um, I'm probably going to just use this flag here, put it there to signify that Zach doesn't have class. And also, this is Three Kings Day, which is a Latin holiday, which I celebrate. So I know he doesn't have class here as well. So these are the two places that I'm definitely going to look up and make sure that he does or does not have class those days. So other than that, I think it turned out great. I do love this navy blue with the gold. Awesome. Like I said, it corresponds with this week here. And yeah, I really do like how it turned out. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Just press the red button there so you'll be a part of my YouTube fam. And if you have any questions um, or any comments concerning this kit here, just leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely try to get back to you. So yeah, this is it. I have nothing else to say besides I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.